This is going to be a short um, explanation of how the strato saw works. I'm not going to go into the full theory or function of a two-stroke. Um, I figure if you're watching this video, you essentially already know how a, a basic two-stroke works. Uh, the strato saw works the same, essentially, um, other than it has a couple extra ports right here and right here. This is your typical intake that fills the crankcase volume full of your fuel and air charge. These side ports are actually clean air in the intake manifold that fill the upper transfers um, simultaneously to the crankcase being filled with fuel and air. The reasoning behind this, filling the upper transfers with clean air, is when the charge is fired and comes down to scavenge leaving the exhaust port the transfer is open and the initial charge the clean air that swirls around in the chamber and chases the exhaust out um, will not have any fuel in it which is what essentially makes a, a regular two-stroke dirty it's hard to time um, that cutoff point so you're not throwing raw air and fuel mixed out the exhaust and burning dirty. Um, you can see, I'll see if I can line this up, the piston right here, this is the intake side. And as the intake opens, right about there, is when your transfers on the side begin to open as well. So you're starting to build a vacuum in the crankcase so when that opens you're starting to draw air and fuel in this port which is the crankcase port the carburetor port and you're also simultaneously drawing air through the side of the piston right here you can see that that port starting to line up with the transfers I can move that up just a little bit so as you're drawing fuel and air through and into the bottom, into the crankcase, you're also drawing through negative or through um, a vacuum. You're you're drawing clean air through the side of the piston and filling this upper transfer. And that's essentially how they're doing it. Now, what I've done to gain a little bit of performance is put some tunnels in right here that the piston still controls so when it's drawing in that clean air charge it is also mixing a slight amount flip that around mixing in a slight amount of air and fuel to give it a little bit of a boost at higher rpm